seven has? Um, I think it's. I think it got on at like eleven ish. So it's been a couple. Uh, it, I have I have the runtime right now. It's been five hours and twenty minutes. I'm gonna blow this up. Don't want that there. I guess I guess we're streaming top table. Yeah, it's top table. Yeah, yeah. And we'll yeah. jump over to the other tables later. But I think top table deserves some uh, some love here. Evan and Za. This is going to be part uh, game, part baking show, as I narrate my... <laughs> are, you, are you laughing at that? I'm just laughing at the uh, the baking show. Is it too big? That's too big. That's far too big. Oh, oh 350. Okay. <laughs> I'm just reminded of uh, the game of Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, that's oh, I game. That game, but yeah. I always thought about uh, renting it from Blockbuster. I love that game. It was the gameplay was you know not the best in the world, but I liked all the music. The music was very enjoyable. The theme was on point. We can all agree there. The yeah, theme there's, was yeah, there's some ace ace music. You guys remember renting video games, by the way? Yes, I do. Sometimes as well, I'd still, I'd send back a, I'd send back a different CD in the box. What a scumbag! <laughs> really? What was the game that you stole? Maybe. What? Little Dan, what was the game that you stole? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> LD, you gotta call me LD. That's that's the go. I'll, I'll respond to. LD. Uh, I'm pretty sure I stole one of the. Maybe I maybe I stole like uh, one of the Resident Evil titles because I was really 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 big into Resident Evil. Yeah, because Resident Evil is really fucking good. Yeah, Resident Evil's fucking dope. Until they got to like Resident Evil, I feel like it started getting a bit weird around four, and then by the time six came around, it was like. Yeah, what I mean, the fuck? I thought I thought four was a very good game. Um, but then five, four five and six were a little uh, a little campy. You keep cutting out early. Give it an extra second each time, because we're always getting the end of your words chopped off, and I love these speaking boys. Uh, well, I'm not using push to talk right now, so I don't know what, what the issue is. Oh, that's awkward. Um, what, what were you saying about Resident Evil 4 there, Dan? Uh, I was saying that 4 was a, a four was a great game, but 5 and 6 were a little bit campy, and they uh, were not... They were super campy. I agree. They were really, really campy. But uh, they've gone back to their roots now, which is good. Anyway, people are like, why the fuck are they talking about Resident Evil? <laughs> well, the, it's an attack on San Fukusado, so it's nothing, nothing's going to happen here. San Fukusado! Do you ever meet Eli from Vancouver, Dan? I have, yes. Eli has actually come yeah, down every... here. Uh, he did I? LVO, true, true, No, 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 true. not LVO. He came down to New Orleans, actually, um, last year, uh, okay. and we hung out for a little bit there. Oh, nice. Yeah, Eli, Eli is a good fucking time. He's a great guy. Anyway, every, every time, the reason I mention him is because every time he would play his, like, Phoenix Chad Bushi deck, every time you hit Senpuku Sado, that's how he would say it. He'd be like, Senpuku Sado! So, Chad... That Chad Bushi deck never really took off for Phoenix, eh? <laughs> well, because it, 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 at the same time that Marcus Payne was still allowed, I remember playing against that deck and being like, Marcus Shane just invalidates this entire fucking deck. <laughs> no, no, because you could do purity to get rid of your um, Marcus Shane token. It only, it only puts you at normal. That entire deck required you to be honored. Very true, it does. Okay, so Evan loses two characters. He loses his Solemn Scholar and his Ancient Master, and San Pukusedo gets broken. So Zar just strong arming his way through this game so far. 
And there's the character he probably would have liked last turn in the form of the Shinjo Yajimbo. Not the Shinjo, the <laughs> Shiba <laughs> Yajimbo, yeah. Can you hear my cat? Oh, I hear it. Yes. I hear a cat, yeah! Get him on the commentating. Let's hear what the cat has to say about this. Honest, the cat's just gonna vote the same way everyone else does. Yeah, double library is pretty sick here for Evan, although he still yeah, chooses the bid five. Double is real good. Oh, um, shoot, really laying in on us here about not talking oh. about the game. Oh, that was that was earlier when when, when we were Sorry. talking about Resident Evil. <laughs> We're back on track now. We're fine. Yeah, so I think also, Jason has been on my side this entire stream, and I really appreciate it. Um, that was a weird four bid there. Do you think he was going to get one bid? Do you think he was just pranging a little bit? Um, I also just like, I don't know why you care when you have City of the Open hands and can win pretty much any ring you want because you're playing Scorpion. <laughs> oh, no, I think that Eric is right. He was just... Uh, betting sort of again he was betting that he was going to get one bid there but yeah, like, now do you, even care? do you even care if you get one bid you just keep using city of the open hand i don't want to lose too much honor too quickly because then it forces one bid really early right and yeah, no, i'm sorry I, so, I think you just nut five there and then fall back no, no, you should have bid five um there's actually a tournament game against uh, me and Eric where he bid three to my five, and then he apologized because he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were a worse player than you are because I thought you would one bid me here, but I should have known. This <laughs> <laughs> playing player would bid five. Oh. Uh, yeah, bidding one against Scorpion feels so bad now they've got this box back. Uh, yeah. Okay, so upholding authority, not going to get broken. Yeah, Evan is just like actually not done anything yet. Oh, but this is how this is how um, Phoenix plays against against uh, Scorpion. You don't do anything for a really long time until you build enough board and have enough cards, and you have like a stable board. Yeah, Evan, and then you do, then you do all Evan, the. Evan, yeah, you're right because he just needs his uh, his Jimbo to survive into the next turn, right? As long as he doesn't lose three provinces this early, he's fine. Okay, so clarity of purpose to dishonor the Shiba Jimbo, and then. Are we going to see a Noble Sack? Oh, no, he's on Phoenix. Uh, he's on Phoenix. Okay. He still wants to win this conflict. He still wants to win this firing. That's oh. fine. Okay, but it's all good. And now can... Um, uh, he's going to actually do a conflict. Interesting. I would have thought he passed and then used his box. Yeah, and so I mean the the Earth Ring is definitely really risky here because of uh, both display of power and um, Canton Hot. Yeah, this is um, very risky. Yeah. I yeah, 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 he passes. He passes. He passes. Yeah. Because he did just venerable <gasps> fortune. Suffer the consequences. Oh, I like that. This card it makes me so happy. Uh, yeah, I mean, that is a good card to play here. Yeah, I want to ask you a question. Have you checked in with Ark yet? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm checking with him right now. Oh, Kurimori is good. Okay, so fan here... Yeah. Kurimori. Yeah. Defending to not lose here, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. It's a shame. It's an absolute... Unless he's got another clarity. Clarity, Another clarity here is really big. But why? Oh, because for the favor? Yeah, yeah. And then he gets favor, and then his senders are online. Oh, he doesn't have it. 
That's oh, right. now. That's right. At this, okay. point, at this point, Evan's going to have to start one bidding. And Zaha has another five bid at him. Yeah, so that's exactly what was going to happen. The one bid's going to come out. It's kind of okay, though. He's got that library here. Uh, Earth becomes sky, super fucking rough. I hate that card, man. Fucking Earth becomes sky. I don't think it's that bad but on this Yojimbo. It's actually fine, because the Shiba Yojimbo's main purpose here is to just exist. Oh right? my god, and he got Shoju, too. <laughs> yeah, Shoju. Yeah. He probably has clouds, right? I'm sure he does, yeah. I mean, we, he, he hasn't had a Shugenja out yet, so we don't really know what... I'm Teaspoon... So, new, new Shoju, an old hit of the open hand, is so fucking ridiculous. In what realm were those two cards together, like, alright? Shoot asking, I don't know the matchup, but isn't Evan getting destroyed? I mean, he's certainly not in a great position right now, but uh, I think the game, is, the game is kind of far from over at this point. Oh, man, I don't think the game is over. This, the, I, think, I think Zaha has a has a has an advantage right now, for sure. But I don't. I wouldn't say that the game is over. The problem with this version of key, of uh, City is that it has a really hard time closing out the games because a lot of the cards are sort of dirtily do nothing cards. Ooh, the two bid from Evan. What a, what a sick what a sick bid. So the two bid there, obviously turning off. Uh, I can swim. So that that's actually really smart from Evan. All right, here comes the prodigy. Way the scorpion, quite unfortunate. Matchup is pretty miserable for Phoenix now they don't have um, Ult Attacker anymore, right? Oh, I mean, uh, yes, for sure. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad, though. A fair amount of times as a Phoenix player. Um, and you just sort of have to weather the shit, and then eventually you can get it to a point where you're making impactful decisions on the board, but it's just surviving. Oh, Kiriko comes out too. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get a military attack at Korimori now. Yeah, uh, this fucking Yajimbo is getting dispatched next turn. <laughs> Oof, this is a uh, this is feeling like a bit of a stomping. Yeah, Evan up six cards right now, but it's not super relevant because uh, he's in a pretty bad position here. Yeah, uh, we he could see Sadaka come down. Didaka, Didaka really helps, actually. Just being able to chuck away some of those cards in, um, in Zar's hand and try and like put that card advantage to use. Yeah, there he is. He is. He's the big man. So, Evan choosing not to use Didaka before he goes into the conflict. He has to be in a conflict, right? Yeah, he has to be in the conflict. It just needs to be a conflict occurring. Oh, okay. It's, it is during a conflict, right? Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah he doesn't have to be there. That's that's that, that's the thing. That... Okay, so going political here is super duper risky. He can block, win, venerable fortunist, a conflict character, and 
And yeah, like so, he's gonna discard one of the. He, he's one of the oh, no, he doesn't. Shit, he, he just he's just gonna eat the display of yeah. power. Okay. No, he, he has the other the ground, so he's just gonna back up. Ah, okay, yeah. fair, 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 fair. That shit. Yeah. Although Zod can't really <laughs> attack because if he goes into uphold, then that's bad. If he goes into KM, then he just gets a uh, yeah. sent home. He just gets both. Yeah, well, if he goes into yeah, if he goes into upholding authority, he loses both displays. So yeah, he's just going to take the favor, and he does. Oh, he's already got the favor. Ignore me. Oh, and ancient Mag monster. Urju is. He takes the favor from Zar. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't hear you, Arash. Oh, sorry. Um, Evan hasn't been playing these last couple of months. This could be his first time against New Shoju. I think he's played against them before, um, but uh, I don't know. I'm sure he's not familiar with Dispatch of Nowhere. That's <laughs> that for sure is uh, is new to him. Dispatch, real, real fast snap play of Dispatch there. Uh, Evan gets a bunch of low flops, which is nice. You can get get a sort of wider board going this turn, which is kind of what you need. He is on four honor. He is in the danger zone. He's going to be on three honor at the start of the conflict phase. Six of nine uh, dishonor effects, like Zah has. So these low drops could also just be bleeding honor. Yeah, and he still yeah. Can yeah. Dude, Dan, these brownies smell good. Yeah. yeah. Extreme audio visual experience of you eating them later. <laughs> yeah, as long as you wait 45 minutes later as well. <laughs> Just watch you sort of getting pale and white and sweating nervously. Like, I don't think these are working and, up, up until. Oh, these are definitely working. <laughs> <laughs> these, these are strong. <laughs> Evan passed. Okay, so he might have a consumed by five fires here. He might just play super defensive. As known as every single time I've tried edibles. Oh, ever. yeah, dude, he is. He's gonna consume. Is it enough though? Because triple backhanded just fucking kills well, him. Well, he, dead he right got rid now. of one of them, right? So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he discarded. Yeah. Yeah, and he can potentially get rid of more <laughs> with. Uh... Yeah. So... Uh, we've got we've got a fucking stare off here. Fires that board, baby. Yeah, Evan is. I, I, I don't think he's making any moves right now. Fuck like, yeah, man! I, Evan, Evan's got such a classy play style. Evan is very like uh, structurally good at the game. You know, like he plays everything. Very sort of like conservatively or by the book, and I really enjoy watching him play. Yeah, um, clean, clean. Do you sort of the way he sort of thinks things through is very clean, you know, efficient, precise. For what it's worth, I've watched a fair amount of Zaw's game. Zaw is, has a very good grasp of the game as well. Like he's no slouch. He has a lot of like he has a lot of W's in his belt. I don't know that he's won anything big, but he's definitely won. He won one AC that I was at. Oh, he this is pretty well. Tadaka hits the second backhanded compliment. That's pretty sick. That um, is pretty. Big. That's a fucking. That's a big pull. But I do think that uh, Zao is going to go ahead and swim this uh, this ethereal dreamer. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah. Oh, he smell. Uh, he's just going to display power then instead. Earthring. Yeah. Does he have keepers in the board? Does he have keepers? Let's see. No, he does not. All right. So he just—he's just gonna vet over. He's just gonna get seventeen fucking cards. Is not. He's, he's literally gonna get two fate. Yeah. No opportunity today. He's probably gonna go Earth again himself. Interesting that Evan didn't. Which is... use consumed by five fires now. Maybe he doesn't have it. Maybe we're just extrapolating uh, his hand. That would be pretty well. He's saving nine feet. Erring here. 
I didn't really think about it because I haven't really seen a lot of Venerable Fortunists out there. But yeah, Display of Power Venerable Fortunists is just like a free Display of Power. Yeah, you get a free ring and then you can, if you want to. So with Earth, it's fucking super dick because everyone knows that Earth ring is the nut ring. So the more times you can just smash Earth in a turn, the better, right? Hey, there's the fucking swim. Tadak has gone swimming. I feel like Evan had to have known that that was coming, right? Otherwise, why would he be two last turn? Yeah, two to one, very telegraphed. Super duper telegraphed. Um, Daka. Maybe Tadak, maybe he's got another copy of Tadak in his hand. Yeah, that's what I would have said. Oh, all right, and the better. I don't know if I, I would have reacted about using the Fortunus there. I think that's a missed opportunity, but never mind. I probably would have. Ah, whatever. Zana is what he's doing. You just want to get black tokens on the board, right? Yeah, he's, uh, he's, got, he's got an airing that he's about to win. This Ancient Mass is going to die. He can probably just assassinate the... Um, the Dreamer. Yeah. You can just assassinate right now. This might actually just be game. Oh, okay, really. there's another one here. Right? Yeah, you assassinate the Ethereal Dreamer. Then you box. Win. Then you box, and then you wait for the Ancient Master to leave play, and then you're yeah, jobs are good. GG's. Yeah, I think this is GG. Yeah, but Evan just unfortunately <laughs> murders by this Turbo Dishonor deck. Yeah, yep. here's the line. <laughs> I'm fucking. <laughs> It I think that like a tech. just got too much of an early lead for Evan to be able to ever really come back. I mean, yeah. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. He used assassination on the the fate, the the, the ancient master with a fate. Sure. Yeah. Well, Evan can well, also still um, use Cam here to switch the ring. You're right. But it shouldn't matter though because uh, Zai can suffer the consequences and get a uh, another conflict here I'd, on no, air. Has it? Oh, or secret knowledge. That's fine too. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, Jesus. That's uh, that's G to the G. That's a wrap. Okay, so there's the consumer five fires. Uh, oh, Zaw's first player. And then, yeah, no, that's that's it. There's no way that Evan can come back from that at that point. There's too way too much honor to loss there, and yeah. um, there's a lot of a lot of dishonor effects coming out. City of the open hand, still alive. And Super bad. should no. Why? Why? <laughs> it should be dead and cold. Okay. So I think a lot of the other games have already started to wrap up. I think that may have been one of the last ones. Let's see. Let's, let's, uh, let's, um, let's roll on out. Lion and Akoto T1, I think, is the only other game. Or Eric and Arik are still playing. So, which which one do we want to go to? T1 and Brian? Or do we want to go to... He actually watched a couple of his games, right? T1, yeah. So we can go to Arik. We can go to Eric and Arik. Yeah, yeah, where is that? Okay, I got it. You know what? It's gonna take me a little bit of time because I have to wash my hands first. Right, well, don't worry, we got you covered. All right, so ah, we join in. Currently for currently wow, for okay. Arik, uh, he's up on two bricks. He's potentially he's up, in, he's up in every way, really, apart from fate. Yes, but. Oh. You know, if he hasn't won the game yet, then it's not totally over. So we'll... it's not totally over. He wins a water ring, which readies his entire. Oh, it's far from over, right? Like, yeah, well, it's it's... From... he's got to get effective deception broken, which is always hard. What do you guys think? Early, early impression. Is it seven little with Edith, or is it uh, City of the Open Hand? Uh, 
Oh, okay. Apparently, wait, wait, sorry, what's that? What do you get? So early impressions, what do you guys think? Is it Seven Sings keep with Edict, or is it City of the Open Hand? I mean, it seems very abundantly to be City of the Open Hand still, which is disappointing, yeah. you know. I, obviously, I, I wanted to see more of the other strongholds, but... You think it's City of the Open Hand only because of that buff? I'm going to be honest with you. I think that um, City of the Open Hand is really good, but it does suffer a bit. Like, it definitely has lost a lot of power. So what happened here exactly? I guess they somebody initiated a ring with the wrong... Hi. Um, hold on. Doing. myself for a second. Sure. Yeah. So it looks Why? like there was Some a sort of bug. Well, no, no, maybe I don't know. Things happened. All right. Right now, it's going on. Uh, <laughs> basically, it looks like uh, somebody attacked with the wrong ring initially, and so they lost their opportunity to going out then. Declare. I said it looked like somebody tried to initiate a conflict earlier, uh, but they used the wrong conflict type. Uh, okay. Right. Got it. And coming through with the big fixes. That's why they call him the Mad Mathematician. They don't actually call him that. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, Evan just saying right now, I've never played against you, showed you, those new Scorpion cards were pretty good. has come to a standstill. Christian Bourne. That's <laughs> stupid fucking scavenger terrain, though. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, I mean, I guess at this point, if it's not working, just go ahead and talk it out.
Alright, so it was an attack on this province. Fury here. Alright, so I think I think we've cured it now, so that's it. So this ring will bounce, and then we can go ahead and continue through. Hey! Diligence! There we go. All right, cool. We're back in. We're back in action now. So, <laughs> what the fuck happened there? Anyway. All right, so uh, stuff's gonna die here. This uh, Zintara's not dead. Yep. Zintara was had a fate on it. Okay. Oh, this shows you though. So, shows you actually kind of scary here because. Uh, Eric down to three honor, but you know I guess he can sort of box himself back up and he'll be okay. Is it showed you particularly good here? Yeah. I mean, this is like when you really want to see Lion's Pride brawler, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely. Well, I mean, he could him with the with the saving ground, right? Uh, it yeah, would be a, it would be a fateless Lion's Pride brawler, or he would have to yeah. pray yeah, yeah. with this one right here. We're talking about Balasparant basically being a worse, cheaper Lion's Pride brawler. This is a perfect example of that being true. Oh, wow. I like this play, though. Oh, man, this Zentaro is just dead. What a season of war this was. I was just fucking... Boom. Just punts that. Yeah, and you got yeah. a Shoujo dude, too. That's, that's pretty sick. And a storehouse. So. Uh, dispatch. Okay. Yeah, it sounds cool. Poor all right. Come on, buddy. By the uh you you really hate that little um gifted tactician, eh, Dan? I don't hate it. I just think he's very average. All the cards I think are average. I think you think you think I hate for some reason, but there's just not enough space to to put cards like this. I I think it works in this context in this deck. Um it uh, seems really cool actually. Yeah, I, I played around with it a little bit, but the problem is that it, it there are some some decks that it probably can't beat, namely stuff like the tower decks and like dragon and um, you know the, the things that have big creatures. Would it be better if it ran like the janky shit, like embrace stuff? Um, no, <laughs> probably not. I mean, yeah. it, it, I'm sure you could fit it in there, but uh, it's running all out assault, which is nice. I mean, That's a very cool both card. Curly and P1, so I've seen play around with that sort of, like, wide strategy. Um, both of them are kind of janky, right? But, like, both like both players very often do, like, all the, like, get fate off of characters. Right, and the thing about that is, like, it's a very attrition-based game, and so it counts on your opponent not being able to build himself back up, and, like, if that is the case, then you, you can probably, you know, eke out a win here and there. But uh, a lot of times, the tower deck, right? Like the tower deck does have problems <laughs> building itself up. It building itself back up, yes. So, um, yeah. so yeah, it, it could potentially it, it could potentially deal with that pretty well. I think a dragon with HHOL has a easier time dealing with that, just because you can like grab fade off ring. Yeah. Um. I made these a little too strong. I think I did. <laughs> I had some of the batter, and I'm feeling 
pretty good. All right, so Tessin comes out um, and Earth becomes Sky and then ready for battle. And now this appears to be a For Greater Glory attack. For Greater Glory still works if you display a power, right? Yes, it's only it's it's the breaking part that um, the thing the, the 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 part that doesn't work on is for upholding authority. Is upholding right? Yes. Like it doesn't work if upholding because the uh, upholding trigger is an interrupt to the break, so it happens before the break. Man, I remember when for greater glory was just the nuts. I mean, it's still pretty good. Let's I mean let's let's, let's not pretend. So it dishonors the Berserker here, that's uh, interesting. You can get more skill off the Sanuri, but I guess the, the fear is maybe... Um... Oh, yeah. The fear, I guess, is uh, prepare for war. Does it need to be a unique character for Call to War? Prepare oh, for war. Prepare for prepare, it has to be a commander to get the honor. Right. I oh, think yeah, yeah, she's, she's unique. She's unique right? for Miyako, that's, that's right, so that's why... But yeah. You can also hit the battle aspirant too, but I guess hitting the berserker also okay. means that the uh, the dishonor token is going to leave play earlier, uh, so you get that extra point of dishonor. Yeah, they're both going to leave in a turn from now, right? The berserker and the battle aspirant. The no, and the the sonori. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. I'm saying why he chose the. Uh... The battle aspirant. Yeah. I think he just wasn't counting on there being an FGG. He just wanted the dishonor tokens. He just wanted those tokens. So I don't know about that. If I see if I see Lion on YNS attack with their entire board, it can only mean one thing. Yeah, I agree. He has a. I mean, that's an impressive amount of dishonor tokens, though. Yeah, and there is still an air ring on the board, so. So if, if if Eric survives next round, I, I think that he's got it. But, I mean, that's like a big if, right? That's really tough, right? Because Auric is going to be first player next turn, and he has Sanuri plus YNS, and so that's a ton of military skill. Yeah. yeah For bat sure. Battle Aspirin coming out with a, with a Tessin. Oh. So here comes an air attack. Uh, it does put him at four, uh, Christian, but to have all three backhanded. Yeah, I mean, he does have eight cards. Um, uh, he doesn't win the ring, though. You're right, you're right. So this is going to be pretty rough. It is. I mean, he has a, he's gotten an impressive amount of cards here. Right, but there's only so much you can do to stop Sindari plus uh, YNS in this situation. Uh, he, plus he, whatever 
Yeah. Quarter year. You said vice proprietor, right? Like, a vice proprietor would be really sweet. Vice proprietor would be good. Ooh, LPB coming out. Ooh, dispatch is actually super sick here. Yeah, you can kill it, Sigari. It hot shit, yeah. Oh my Man, god. Man, dispatch is super good. Blackmail is good. Um, this the, Master Whisper is also pretty hot. Yeah, so I think you I think you probably buy Master Whisper and Dispatch here. I guess you can probably buy the Blackmail on Zero if you wanted to, but... Yeah, you sort of have to get Sonori is the right one to Dispatch. Absolutely, Sonori is the most good. Yeah, that is a big one. Um, so then he's going to be at 4? Is that correct? Yeah, he's going to be at 4 Honor. Beginning of the conflict phase? Yes. Um, um, but that's still probably not enough, though. So, uh, with three back kind of compliments and abandoning honor, it actually is enough. Oh, yeah, you're, you're right. So He okay. needs to buy the Master Whisperer. Right, because he has to find the last back kind of compliments. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, Christian. I, I definitely think that um, is favored now. It's still favored for, for Lion. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, he has a chance. I don't know why he's not buying this fucking Master Whisperer. Oh, oh, okay. Does it about oh, okay. That's interesting. This is pretty... Zal's looking pretty dead... Not Zal, sorry. Um, Eric's looking pretty dead here. Eric is looking pretty dead here, I agree. Uh, you want to see his conflict discard? Okay. So, let's see. Before Shane, Way of the Scorpion, Calling of Favors, um... EBS, Way of the Scorpion, two Way of the Scorpion, and a Bonsai have already been used here, so... There's just no way he can get him to drop four on her without... He would need all three back in a compliments, yes. And, and abandoning he... on her. Yes. So it's definitely doable. And he may or may not have found it. I don't, I don't know what... This uh, this reaction is. He couldn't draw the same because he discarded two court games. Oh man, this is so brutal. If he has the three backhanded, that's so unlucky. Is it brutal or is it just poetic justice? I fucking love it when shit like this happens. I hate this shit. How can you like this? Wait, what do you, <laughs> how is this poetic justice? Fair. Okay, Mike is saying that means he didn't get it. Hmm. Okay. Here. Come here, Cap. He's afraid of the dance. He doesn't want to come near them. He doesn't want to come near them. Sorry. Mike is saying that this means that um, Eric does not have it. Potentially. Oh. So. It's literally a coin flip now. Let's see what happens yeah. here. So he hasn't, he hasn't, not, he hasn't just conceded yet, right? So he might have a fair amount of like. He has. He has he. No, he just said he didn't draw the third. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's the G he to the G. That. I almost wonder. So the, mm -hmm. I mean, looking back at that last turn, right, where he attacked. Uh, where you attacked air, I wonder if he just didn't have anything else that he could have pumped with. Like so, like maybe he was saving something for for this turn. Um, no. He could have potentially had well, something else. This is where the duty RL really matters, right? Mm. Um, because you can't you can't buy bid here. Right. <laughs> yes. Like, <laughs> that actually uh, matters not... a lot for sure. Um. Glad duty's gone. That car's such a piece of shit. Oh yeah, I'm not defending duty. I'm just saying that it, you can actually you can actually tell that like this is this is where the nerf actually sort of matters. Yeah. 
He's going to try to stop the break. Right, we're going to try and I see. Mean, I don't think that he can. He has like two different sets of pumps, right? He has a Sonori pump. Oh, no, Sonori's dead. He just has the... Yeah. The box. Yeah. Yeah. Pump is really fucking huge. A box and LPD. Bonsai has Janawa played. Only one. He probably has a. Oh, okay. So he has a Bonsai. Yeah. So YNS is going to be one, two, three, four here. Uh, and he, okay. he can also LPB somebody here. But now, yeah, now so he just he wins the conflict. He just wins the airing. He just wins the conflict and he's dead. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so that Bonsai was... Bonsai is like. Unless Bonsai he has taken him to one other. Like, Win the conflict. Just feels. Uh, Eric's basically just smashing the nut button there. Yeah. Well, I actually don't know what that means, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it means exactly what it sounds like, mate. Um, he has another way of the scorpion. He has a calling in favors. Nah, he's dead, man. He's super fucking dead. He probably has a censure for this. Yeah. Dang. I have another for shame. Has he played all three already? He's already played all three, so he has one more way of the scorpion. Still gotta, you still gotta survive the LPB here. Hmm. Probably correct there. You just get all in on winning this. Right, and so he has to, he has to have some way to negate five more skill. Like I, I don't think Arc has much more than that. I don't think Arc has anything else. Um, he can one way of the Scorpion on the battle aspirant. That's two. CIF. That is another, that's a swing of uh, uh, two right. from that side to that. It's a net he goes up plus. one, so he's at nine. Yeah. One C two CIFs actually would do it. How many CIFs are in the bin? Oh no, he just, he backhanded himself. Oh, he just killed himself. Yeah. Jabated, yes. okay. So that was it. Uh, GG. Yeah, just mega unfortunate there for sure. Oh, yeah, he didn't like that. All right, well, that's that. Didn't quite close it out. Tight game, though. Tight game. And with that, I think that was actually the last game of is. the tournament. So we will wait for that to update. I yes, you're right. It is just a. It is just a. Yeah.